The small plastic car you're looking at is the Renault Twizy. It is, according to Renault, a solution to congestion, pollution and all your urban motoring woes. Or is it? You see, the Nissan LEAF was launched over a year ago after years of hype to critical acclaim. It's become the byword for electric cars, much as the Toyota Prius did for hybrids. Thing is though, it's just a normal family car that looks a little bit like a spade and is most often specced in blue. And there's only one interior colour, beige. Beige. The Leaf's still quite big, and that's not good because it means our nation's roads are still full of big, congestion-causing cars. And that's why pretty much every manufacturer under the sun has conceptualised a car like the Twizy. You see, the idea is it's the ultimate urban runaround for young people to dart through traffic and tool around town in. But there's a problem with it. Actually, there's several. Firstly, there's the problem of going around a mate's house or to the pub. You see, the driver will stay sober as a judge, naturally. However, its passenger can get as squiffy as they like. But getting in the back is a little bit tricky. So imagine a little bit of gymnastics with a gut full of Malibu. The driver is going to be picking chunks out of his hair for quite some time. Secondly, is going to the shops. You see, there's not all that much storage space back there, so your weekly shop will have to sit on your very hungover passenger, like a kind of nauseous version of a Sainsbury's shelf. And that leads us to the third and final problem. And it's not just a problem with the Twizy, but with electric cars in general. You see, cars like the Twizy are designed for young, funky people living in the city, and unless you're minted, you're going to be living in a flat. And that leads to two problems. One, if there's 10 people in a tower block, where are you going to put them all? And two, if there's only one charge point, how are you going to keep them all juiced? Or will our buildings begin sprouting flex-covered dreadlocks? That can't be safe, can it? The Twizy can offer 60 miles of range at up to 50 miles an hour. And it only weighs 450 kilos, but it still takes three and a half hours to charge. So say you've got 10 Twizzies and one charge point, what's going to happen there? That said, the Twizy is a rather cool little car. I'd have one if I had somewhere to charge it. It's fun, it's quick, it's clean, and it would certainly confuse the hell out of all of London's bikers. But does Britain have the infrastructure to support a million billion of these things? No, it doesn't. Neither does anywhere else for that matter. Electric motoring is still in its infancy, even though it existed over a century ago. One day we may all be piddling about in twizzies, but we need more charge points, better battery tech, and maybe some proper doors. To get those, though, more people need to get in electric cars. Hmm.